Hi, let's understand some uh, definitions related to the uh, ventilation. First, respiratory minute volume or uh, also sometimes called as minute ventilation. It is the amount of air that ventilates our respiratory system every minute and it's calculated as tidal volume into the respiratory rate. Tidal volume, the amount of air that we breathe in or breathe out with each quiet breath. So in each breath, we inspire, let's say 500 ml and we take uh, 12 to 14 such breaths per minute and therefore in one minute how much air will ventilate the respiratory system roughly about 6 to 8 liters per minute. Second, this is a more important definition. Alveolar ventilation per minute. Now, we inspire 500 ml in each breath. But out of that 500 ml, roughly about 150 stays in the dead space. It does not reach the alveoli. And it does not take part in the ventilation. It does not take part in the gas exchange. And therefore, out of the 500 ml that we inspired, only 350 ml reaches the alveoli. Last 150 stays in the dead space. So with each breath, 350 ml uh, reaches the alveoli. And how many such breaths we take per minute? That will be alveolar ventilation per minute. And therefore, it is tidal volume minus the dead space volume into respiratory rate. So... Uh, 500 ml minus the 150 that remains in the dead space that means only 350 reach the alveoli and such 12 to 14 breaths per minute and therefore roughly about 4 to 4.2 liters per minute that is the normal alveolar ventilation that much air ventilates the alveoli every minute next definition maximum voluntary ventilation or also called as maximum breathing capacity look when we talked about the respiratory minute volume or minute ventilation it was the ventilation at rest quiet breathing but now we ask the person to hyperventilate voluntary hyperventilation for about 15 seconds or a fixed duration and then see how much air ventilates our respiratory system. That would be called as maximum voluntary ventilation. The maximum amount of air that can ventilate our respiratory system every minute. The value is about 125 to 170 liters per minute. And that brings us to the next definition and that is breathing reserve how much is our breathing reserve uh, you know maximally what we can ventilate every minute is the maximum voluntary ventilation and what we can vent what the air that ventilates at rest per minute would be called as respiratory minute volume or minute ventilation so the difference between the two is our reserve. I mean this much is taken at rest and this much can be taken maximally. Therefore the difference between the two is the reserve, breathing reserve. And the last definition is Disnick index. Disnick index. It's given in percentage. Now imagine that uh, we start performing the exercise. So far we were breathing quietly. Now we begin the exercise. What will happen is that 
the value of respiratory minute volume or minute ventilation will go on increasing from 8 liters, 10 liters, 12 liters, 15 liters and that means the difference between the two will decrease. Breathing reserve will decrease and at some at one point what happens is breathlessness appears that would be called as dyspnea point so dyspneic index first is calculated as breathing reserve upon mvv into 100 breathing reserve upon maximum voluntary ventilation into 100 or mvv minus rmv upon mvv into 100. The normal value is about 95%. So imagine uh, MVV let's say 125 liters, RMV 8 liters. Now imagine uh, at rest or normal breathing the value is 95%. Now you start intense exercise. The value of respiratory minute volume goes on increasing. And therefore, the value of numerator goes decreasing. The breathing reserve will go on decreasing. And 90%, 85%, 80%, 75%, 70%. When dyspneic index falls just below 70%, the dyspnea will appear. The breathlessness will appear. So that's called as dyspnea point. These are some of the definitions related to our uh, ventilation.